This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Can you actually buy a helmet for under $60? Well, we're going to find out today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today I've got a couple of different helmets we're going to talk about. And just so you know, these came from a company, uh, TCMT. You may remember a few months ago I reviewed their uh, low-profile oil drain pan, which I use to this day. They reached out to me, and my contact there said they have also have motorcycle helmets. Would I be interested in reviewing them? Well, he sent me a couple of helmets to review. Now, TCMT is not sponsoring the video. They didn't pay me any money, and I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, and then a little bit later, we're going to take them out for a ride and see how they perform. So they actually have several different helmet styles on their website, and I'll put links in the description of this video to their website where you can see all the different models and sizes and colors and all that. This one over here on my left, your right, is a what they call carbon fiber. Now, obviously, it's not real carbon fiber. This helmet is a full-face helmet, and it sells for $36. Can you believe that? $36. And it is, if you look on the back, you will see there is a DOT sticker there. I asked them to send me one of them in large and one of them in extra large because I wasn't sure how they were going to fit. Now, I did try both helmets on. The large fits me better than the extra large. Uh, I, I normally wear HJC helmets, and normally their large fits me pretty well, even a little bit snug. Uh, also, just features real quick, it does have a, a face shield, a clear shield that opens. And it does give a solid click when it's closed. You do get a little chin vent here, a little uh, vent, and a vent up here above your forehead uh, for airflow. Now, I don't see any exit vents on the back, so I'm not sure when the air comes in where it ends up going. I guess on the on the chin, it just goes right down through the helmet. But where, where this air ends up flowing, I don't know. Uh, where you'll notice a difference in value and, I'd say, quality over, say, a two or three or $400 helmet, you know there's going to be a difference. You're not going to get the same, uh, and nor should you expect to get the same thing from a helmet that you spend two or $300 on that you can get for $36. Padding on the inside is decent. They're, they just come in and out with Velcro, and even some of the inner lining I can see is kind of pulling away. It's glued to the shell, but the glue is not perfect, so that's where you'll notice the difference in quality and, and workmanship. Uh, you could probably glue that back down again. I see the glue where it just didn't stick to the to the shell very good. But it just has Velcro. It's, there's no snaps on the full face model. There's no snaps. There are some snaps on this other model here. Uh, it does have a little bit of a padding on the chin strap, but I did put it on and it is relatively comfortable. So that is the full face model. 36 bucks. It's amazingly cheap. Now this model here, I wish I'd ordered it in large too, but I didn't know how they would fit. This is actually a modular helmet, believe it or not. It actually has a chin bar that raises and lowers. So if you're into modular helmets, they do have this model. And I think this is actually a pretty cool looking helmet. This, this, this actually looks pretty neat, I think. This one's in flat black. I don't think you get a big choice of colors on their helmets. It gives you a very solid, when it opens and it clicks, you can tell it's pretty solid. It's not gonna fall down on you. And when you close it, it also gives you a pretty firm click to let you know it's closed. It also has a little chin vent here, and uh, there are vents on top, you know, for your head. And there are what appear to be exit vents on this helmet in the back. So they've added a little more, you know, stuff to this helmet. Uh, it also has the DOT sticker on the back. What I like about this helmet, it, the face shield has this really big tab where you can very easily, with gloves or whatever, lift up the face shield. And it, it actually has a little bit of ratcheting to it. You could set it to different uh, levels. And believe it or not, this helmet has a sunshade. 
Now it only goes up or down. It doesn't doesn't really. There's no detents in between. You could probably do it, but it it probably flop down on you. But when it's open, it clicks, and when you lower it, it clicks again. So you know it's in the down position, and that feels pretty secure. This feels like a little bit more substantial helmet than the full face. You're not going to believe the price. $56 for this helmet. I mean, come on now. That's ridiculous. But it, so you get a lot of features for 56 bucks. I mean, when I first got these in, I thought, you know, what are you going to get for 36 bucks and 56 bucks? I mean, it can't be it can't expect much. They're actually better than what I was expecting. They do feel like a real helmet. Okay, I guess they are a real helmet. And now this one actually does have what appears to be a slightly more substantial interior. It actually does have some snaps that hold the, uh, the cheek pads in place. That's nice. There's not really a facility on this helmet for speakers. I don't, I don't know if there's room. The way this helmet is built, I'm not sure if there's room to put speakers in here, if you do like to have a headset or speaker system. But all of the interior components are removable so they can be washed. Uh, the chin strap system is the same. It's the double D-ring system, just like on the full face helmet. That is their modular model. I didn't know what to expect for $36 and $56, but they're better than I expected. I'm going to try them. I'm going to take them out hopefully tomorrow if the weather's good enough. I'm going to get this one, put it on, and I'll let you know uh, in my final evaluation uh, what I think of it as far as wind noise and comfort and things like that. I don't have high expectations because I wear an HJC. Now, I don't wear an expensive HJC. I wear their low-end IS Max 2. I also have this new Senna Impulse helmet I've been wearing, which is very comfortable. So I'm not expecting these to be at that level. Now, if you like videos like this, please do me a favor. Take a second to click that subscribe button right down below. Don't forget the notification bell, because that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. So anyway, let's get out to the garage and give these helmets a test. So let's peel the sticker off of this clear visor and see if I can get this helmet on. I'm wearing a buffed, kind of it's a little cool out today, but the helmet actually fits pretty well. I got so into adjusting the buff that I forgot to tie the chin strap or secure the chin strap. So forgive me for riding around during this test with my chin strap hanging down. I forgot to do it with the double D ring. Anyway, first impressions, I'm riding along. First of all, I think it's actually a nice looking helmet. I think it looks good. The air vents do seem to direct a little air into my chin, and I'm really surprised at how comfortable the helmet is. It fits my head perfectly, and it's not loose. It's not bouncing around, so I was kind of surprised how well it fit, and I was surprised at how comfortable it is. Now, part of the reason it's comfortable is because it's so lightweight. It really, I bet it doesn't even weigh five pounds. It's a very light helmet. Now, also, another thing that surprised me, I was kind of concerned on an inexpensive helmet that the clear face shield was going to be kind of wavy or have a lot of imperfections in it. But I'm telling you, the face shield was really, really crystal clear. I was surprised by that. One issue I did encounter is when I tried to open the face shield, the small tab uh, to grab it with these big winter gloves was very hard to find. It was a little hard to get a hold of that tab. That's something that on the other helmet they sent me has a very large tab, very easy to find. This one was a little bit... Uh, limited in size and kind of hard to feel with those big gloves. Also, it was hard to tell when the face shield was fully up. You don't get that click. You do when you close the face shield 
you can tell it's closed, but you can't really tell when it's fully open like you could with the other helmet they sent. But remember, this is a $36 helmet. My next test was to see how the helmet performed at highway speeds, and here I'm getting up to about 60 miles an hour. And this is the only other thing I would say I noticed about this helmet is you do get quite a bit of wind noise around that face shield. Uh, on surface streets, it wasn't very noticeable, but on the highway at 60 miles an hour, you do get quite a bit of wind noise, so I'm not sure you'd want this helmet for long distance touring. So let's go back to the studio and I'll give you my final evaluation of this TCMT full face helmet and the modular helmet as well. So I just got back from my short ride with this full face TCMT carbon fiber. It actually does have a pretty nice looking finish on it. It's not a bad looking helmet at all. The, probably the most negative thing about this particular helmet is the fact that the, in, the interior is pulling away from the outer shell. I showed you that earlier. And that could easily be repaired with some additional glue and maybe just clamp it really good. And I, I should emphasize that just may be a one-off thing with this particular helmet that I received. And it doesn't do it on the on the right side of the helmet. It was only on the left side in that that uh, liner was kind of uh, pulling away from the shell. The other negative, I guess, would be wind noise. Now. It's not so bad on surface streets if you're riding around town. You don't really notice it. But when you get on the highway at, I'd say, anything over 50 miles an hour, you will start to notice wind noise coming in around this uh, face shield. But, you know, like I said in the video, it's a $36 helmet. What do you expect? I mean, of course. And honestly, I've ridden with some... $250 helmets that are almost as noisy as this one with the wind. This is the little tab here for the face shield. Very, very small. And if you have gloves on, or especially large winter gloves like I had in my test, you, it's hard to feel it. The other helmet, by contrast, has a very large tab, the largest maybe I've ever seen on a helmet. So it would be very easy to find on uh, with gloves on. So uh, I wish they would implement that same thing over here on this helmet. But again, for a $36 helmet, you know, you can't beat it. What about the good? It's very lightweight. I doubt this weighs five pounds. I think they say it weighs five pounds, but it doesn't even feel to me like it weighs five pounds. It's very, very light. I was surprised how comfortable it was when I got it on. It actually felt good. Of course, that's going to be different for every individual. This full face helmet might actually, I took the cheek pad out, it's just Velcroed in. You might actually be able to fit a set of small speakers in here if you have a headset. I don't think you can on this modular. There's not very much space in the position where you would want speakers. But this full face helmet actually might have enough space to put a little set of speakers in there. Also, very good, and something that really surprised me, I was afraid on an inexpensive helmet like this that the face shield would have, the clear face shield would have a lot of distortion or it would be wavy or scratchy looking or something. It was perfectly clear, so I didn't have any issues. I had good visibility around the whole side of the helmet, so this helmet really surprises me as what you're getting for just $36. I would have never in a million years guessed you would get this level for $36. The finish is nice. It, it This carbon fiber looks nice. It's very glossy. It has a nice, even finish. There's no bubbles. There's no imperfections that I've been able to find in the finish on the helmet. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. I wish... I had ordered the large on this flat black helmet because I don't know even know if they still have them in stock. I think extra large might be all they have right now because I would love to try this helmet because it does feel more substantial. Granted, it's $20 more, it's $56, but you do have a little more uh, 
a little better face shield operation where it steps different levels and you you get a nice click when it's fully open and a nice click when it's fully closed. You do get a nice click on this helmet when it's fully closed, but not when it's fully open. So I struggled sometimes to, to realize whether or not the, the face shield was fully open. That is my initial review. I will test these some more and I will let you know if I come up with any more information. The best, probably the best feature is they're just cheap. I mean, if you're really not looking to spend a lot of money on a helmet, but you want some protection, and I know the question is going to come up, can they really provide any protection for a $36 helmet or a $56 helmet? I'm not qualified to answer that question. I don't know. I don't know how much protection I'm getting with my HJC helmet compared to a Shoei or an Arai. I'm just not qualified to make that a determination. I don't have a testing facility here. Here's my take on it. It's better than nothing. If you have some protection, for I'd rather you wear this at $36 than go out like I see some guys riding with no helmet on at all. Anything's better than nothing. That's my take on it. I just found out today, you can save another 5%. They're going to issue a promo code or a discount code. If you use the discount code CRUISEMAN when you place your order on their website, you will get a 5% discount, and that's good. I think it's through the end of next year. So check that out. Check out their website, and I will put links in the description of this video to these two helmets. And of course, from there, you can look at the other stuff on their website. If you liked this video, please take a second to click that like button. It really does help our rankings with YouTube. And if you have any thoughts or comments on these inexpensive helmets, or maybe you've owned one of these helmets, let me know in the comments down below. Always happy to read your comments and try to respond as intelligently as I am able to. Thanks again for joining me. I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.